same method. So, What's up guys? I promised that I would show you how I controlled the string ensemble in my last video with the Seaboard block. Watch my last video where I showed you how I made cinematic type of music with native instruments, in particular the contact libraries. And one of the contact libraries I used called String Ensemble, I controlled it with the Seaboard because I really wanted to control the vibrato. And it's super simple to do. I'm actually gonna add a bonus here. I wanna show you how I map the control of a choir and the sounds that they make to the slide function on the Seaboard block. This works just as well on the light pad block. So let's get started. Here's the song that I created for my cinematic music video. Emotive strings, I've also got session strings, but the one I wanna focus on today is string ensemble and I loaded the cellos essentials and also the Roly blocks dashboard program that's included with the Seaboard block. There's only two things that you're gonna look at. One is use MPE, we're gonna uncheck that. And next pitch bend range, you wanna set that at 12. 12 semitones is the maximum pitch bend range in contact. So we're gonna match the Seaboard's pitch bend range with contacts. So we're done with Blocks Dashboard right now. Let's go into Contact, and the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click that little wrench icon or spanner icon, click that, and now you'll be able to edit some more details about this instrument. Click on Group Editor. You can specify which one of the uh, presets, option things that you're gonna be editing. We wanna edit all of them so that all of these instrument settings will respond to the Seaboard. So click Edit All Groups. Then you can close the group editor. Uh, under Mod, you'll see Pitch Bend. So you wanna set this all the way up to 12. So now the Pitch Bend range matches the one we set for the Seaboard in the Blocks Dashboard. There it is. Now you're set and we can start playing. If you look down lower here to the left of the keyboard on the screen, you'll see that pitch bend shift up and down as I'm applying the vibrato. Now that's a very subtle vibrato. You can actually exaggerate the vibrato by adjusting the pitch bend range in Block's dashboard. Well, let's really exaggerate it. Let's set it to two. Now when I play it, That's super exaggerated. That's it. So now let's see what we can control with the choir. On this new channel, I've loaded contact and we're going to find the choir sound in the contact factory library. Under choir, we're gonna choose vowel morphs. This is gonna be fun. So let's choose A to E. Now here's what that sounds like. That's the ah. Now when it's morphs, and the way you do that is use the morph thing here. But instead of using this knob, wouldn't it be nice to just slide your finger from down here to up there? It's super easy. Here's how you do it. Again, go to the wrench icon at the top left, click the mod button, click edit, and you'll see now the morph knob here. To map anything to the slide function on the Seaboard or on the light pads, you want to map it to MIDI CC number 74. If you right click it now, you can choose external sources and then choose MIDI CC. And now you can assign it to the MIDI number. And I'll type in 74. I think I can type in 74 here too and that should do it. Let's try it out. It works. Wasn't that super easy? Another thing you can do is you can control the aftertouch. So how hard you press the key on a C board after the first press. So that's mono aftertouch. Let's see what happens if we assign it to amount. So again, I right click amount, 
external sources, click on mono aftertouch. So now, you see a mount go up. That's it, you've done it. Now you can apply similar things to other instruments in the contact libraries. Now we're controlling three of the dimensions of, well actually four because we've got strike in there as well. Four dimensions of the Seaboard's five Ds of touch. Boom, awesome, go have fun. So that's it, super easy, right? If you like this video, remember hit the like button, subscribe for more of this stuff because I got some crazy things coming. I mean, mind blowing mic dropping things on the way. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later.